everybody doing today? This is Anthony from The Basement Read. And as always, if this is your first time tuning into our channel, we're a retail aquatic pet store and house plant shop located in Columbia, Missouri. We specialize in saltwater livestock, but also carry plenty of cool freshwater fish and plants, and we carry a variety of hard to find tropical house plants. And here on the channel, we talk about all three of those hobbies. Before we get started on today's video, I really want to take a chance to apologize that it's been a minute since we posted any videos at all. Several weeks, in fact. Unfortunately, I've been feeling under the weather and definitely not up to being on camera. But I'm finally back in action and we have lots of good videos lined up for this week and the next few, so I'm really excited to share that with you. Today, we're standing next to my favorite new piece of equipment in the store, and that's this coral band saw. What that's going to allow us to do is start our very own coral farm here in the store and start offering some 100% captive bred farm corals to our customers. Today, we're going to get started on that and show you a coral that we have picked out to be one of the first ones that we're aquaculturing. And then we're going to take a look at some corals in the store that might work if you were to get the diamond band saw and wanted to get started on your own coral farm. And we're going to go over what corals you might want to get started with there. Let's get to it. First, let's take a look at our equipment. Like I said, this is a diamond blade coral band saw. It's a saw specifically built for cutting coral. Here you can see me pouring fresh salt water into a reservoir on top that pumps down across the blade as you're cutting, keeping the flesh of the coral nice and cool as you go. One great feature of these coral saws is that they're incredibly safe to use. They'll cut through rock, but they won't cut through flesh or anything soft like that. So you don't need to be afraid to get in close. You're definitely not gonna cut your fingers on this. Now, as for what coral we're going to be cutting up today to start the Basement Reef Coral Farm, well, I've selected this Alien Eye Style Chalice. This is a really cool, really bright piece, and I really like the green rim around it. I think that this is a perfect candidate for aquaculture and will look really nice fragged up. We've had this coral here in the store for several weeks now. It's settled in nicely and is definitely ready to be fragged up. What we're gonna be doing here first is cutting around this middle section of the coral. I wanna keep a big chunk of this around in my display tank at the store. Essentially an insurance policy. If anything happens to the frags, we'll have this mother colony still that we can eventually come back to. After that, we're going to go through and cut as many small pieces of this as we can. I'm going to try and keep one of these green eyes on every frag, both because chalice coral frags tend to do better that way and it'll make for more attractive frags. These are for retail after all. After that, it's just a matter of cutting these down into shapes that are gonna be attractive on a frag plug once they grow out. Here, you'll see me do a technique called undercutting, where essentially, once we cut out the frags, we go back through and cut out the extra skeleton underneath to get a nice flat surface for mounting on our frag plugs. When cutting these corals, you don't want to move too quickly. You kind of want to just let the weight of the blade do the work for you. If you push against it, you're going to dull your blades faster and you might end up damaging the flesh of the coral. Slow and steady wins the race here, for sure. Now we just cut the last few remaining frags and then we're going to be ready to glue these down. All told, it probably took about six or seven minutes at the saw to frag this large coral down. And in the end, we got around 12 or 13 frags out of it. Now it's time to glue it down. We're gonna be using a cyanoacrylate super glue. Any brand will do, but I like these little tubes of coral glue. It's simply a matter of putting one of these coral frags down on each of these plugs. And really, that's it, we're done. As you can see, these frags look pretty good, but they're gonna need time to heal. Hopefully in a few weeks, they'll start healing up and we'll get that green growth edge all around the rim and they'll all take on the look of that mother colony. Coincidentally, we have a coral show coming up in St. Louis then too. So hopefully these will be healed up in time and you can check them out. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about if you had your own coral saw and we're looking to start your coral farm. How would you even know where to begin? You walk to the local fish store and there's hundreds of coral frags. Which ones do you choose? You might be tempted to go for something really rare and expensive to start off your coral farm with a bang. But really, I think the cheat code to get started the fastest are encrusting corals, like these Cyphastrias and Leptoceres. These guys grow really fast and you can frag them really small. You can turn one frag into more frags and grow them back out in a matter of weeks. That's really the name of the game here. What are gonna be the fastest growing corals that you can frag the easiest? A pavona like this is another really good choice. 
they encrust, so they don't need to build a huge skeleton, and that means they're gonna grow fast. And a little slower, but still an awesome choice are chalices. We're gonna go with this toxic pie chalice, just so that there's something a little nice in there too. We'll be starting with the Cyphastria. It's one of the fastest growing corals. Here, I'm just cutting around the edge to save this middle chunk that it was started with to begin with. Then, I'm gonna be cutting each of these down into really small pieces. After that, the Lepto series. Similar idea here, but I'm less concerned with saving that middle piece because it wasn't so large. You can go down to as small as eighth inch pieces here, but we're gonna be aiming for about half inch. And as far as that chalice, we're just gonna cut it right into fourths. Just like before, we're gonna be gluing all of these corals down. All of our pieces weren't exactly uniform sizes this time, so we're gonna be putting smaller pieces onto smaller frag plugs and larger pieces onto larger ones, just to make this look nice and uniform, and so when everything grows out, it presents nicely as a retail piece. These four corals originally would retail for $25 a piece in our store, and as you can see, we're getting close to two dozen frags out of it. So do the math. That's $100 worth of corals, and you're gonna be making about two dozen frags just running them through the coral saw once. Once these have healed up for a few weeks, even if you sell them as 10 or $15 frags, that's a hefty little profit, and this is just the start of your coral farm. By the time you sell most of them too, some of the original pieces will have grown back up enough that you can repeat the process. This is what coral farming is all about. From there, you can start to roll your profits into more expensive and rarer corals, and that's how you can really make a name for your coral farm. And that just about takes us to the end of today's video. Before we wrap things up though, I wanna show off one more coral that we're throwing into the Basement Reef Coral Farm today. And that's this super bouncy, super colorful little St. Thomas mushroom. This thing is pretty nuts looking, and I'm excited to see how it grows, and hopefully we can reproduce it so that we can offer it for a long time to come. Ideally, this coral farm is going to allow us to eventually expand beyond just selling out of our store and offer corals online as well. So look forward to that. As always, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.